Hello guys, this is Arif and I am back with my new Adobe Premiere Pro video editing tutorial. Today's tutorial is about title text animation of a famous filmmaker Sam Calder. So let's do it inside Adobe Premiere Pro. So guys, I have a footage in timeline. Now I am going to select uh, type 2. Now write something like uh, Sam Calder or anything you can write here on a program monitor. So now get back and select selection tool. Okay, here I am just... Uh, center this anchor point I just right here okay now select graphics here in graphics click edit under this edit you can uh, select any text um, but I'm going to select here the text uh, surfing capital so let's find out it first okay this on just click to select so guys I share some links in the description from there you can manage your favorite font one of my favorite font is Roboto. To manage it, just click here, then I can download from here. But you have to make sure the license for commercial users. Uh, in this website, you can search surfing, then search. Okay, you can also download this font from this site too. It's a little bit heavy. So in this moment, I am going to share you how to custom font uh, from graphics. You can change the opacity of font, just increase or decrease it. Or you can also change the size of font as like as this tutorial. Now I am going to center it. You can do the same thing uh, from uh, here in effect controls. Just scroll down, you can change font, size, anything from here too. Okay, so now I will place it on right position, just drag it to the left. Now we can uh, take razor tool to cut unnecessary or extra portion of this from this text layer. Now make sure your text layer is selected. Now I am moving over to effect. Here in effect I am uh, searching for turbulent effect. Yes, table and effect. Now drag it over to the timeline and apply it to this text layer. Okay. So at this stage, I am again moving over to the effect controls. So here in effect controls, uh, you can select any displacement from here. But uh, I am not going to change anything right now. Now it's time to change uh, set uh, the amount value. It will be around. 30 size it will be the same okay but this effect is not affected right now so to make it effective uh, what I have to do we have to set uh, at least two keyframes of offset just click this stopwatch to add first keyframe and go to the last frame of the footage then click this point to add last keyframe now I set uh, the last keyframe in just here in 3 seconds around. Now the value that I am going to set uh, around 4000. Ok. Let's play it and watch on program monitor. Yes, it's now working well. So you can also change the complexity here. You can set it maximum 1, 2 or maximum 3. So you see us right now. If I drag this keyframe uh, uh, middle of this uh, time layer, then what happened? Let me see it. It's uh, it's more effective right now. So what I have to do? I have to decrease this value. I'm going to set it uh, 2000, and the duration between two keyframes is around one second. Okay, set it zero again. Let me play it. Oh, it's well not right now. You can also select twist. It actually depends on your personal taste. If I increase this uh, size, so what happened then? Let's see on program monitor. Now again, I will set it 30. Now drag this on right position. I mean last keyframe, and I will change the value of last keyframe. 4000 again now let's do a playback and see on program monitor yeah well 
I think it's nice to me as a tutorial. Now this placement, I'm going to set the default on again and go to sequence render in or out. After rendering playback will be much smoother and yeah I think you learned something from this tutorial and uh, make sure to subscribe don't forget to click the bell icon to ensure that you are staying up to date with regular videos. See you next goodbye today bye bye.